you're going to trust a complete stranger with your PIN number. I'm pretty sure that's not how this normally works. Yes, well, I've never been considered normal. There is a point to all this. Do you want to see something amazing? How the hell did you do that? It stops being fun if I tell you. But it gets better. You see, I have written down the two drinks you're going to order. Read it aloud. Two whiskies with ice, four pounds. Fuck off. That's not possible. How did you do that? What, are you some kind of wizard? No, no. I'm just a man who is very good at his job. I was having trouble sleeping due to work-related stress. After a 16-minute in-depth consultation with a doctor over the phone, I felt calmer about how to handle my stress, and he gave me helpful advice to aid my sleep. The level of service provided went above and beyond the level required, and the doctor was very empathetic. Not guilty, my lord. Remember, witch, you are bound by law to tell the truth. I am no witch. And yet I noted your absence from Mass this last Good Friday, a day when all those loyal Protestants among you would know to show face at church. Or perhaps you are otherwise engaged binding yourself to the devil's service. Sir, I am a good woman. I've never been bound to the devil. Then how is it we came to find you conjuring spirits at Malkin Tower? I have no knowledge of this, sir. Was there a casting of spells? There was no casting of spells. Did you call upon the devil? I never call upon the devil. And at this meeting, did you not attempt to put a curse of Mr. McCovell, the governor of Lancaster Castle, in a bitter attempt to free your fellow convicted witches? I have never harmed no one. Listen to me very, very carefully. I want you to fire in three, two, one.